Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So, what we have here today is a G660. My intentions were to do a teardown video today on it, but I've kind of gotten behind uh, this morning, so we're not going to quite have enough time to do that. However, I'm going to kind of do a quick shop talk video on uh, what's to come. So, we've got a, I got several uh, big board kits to go in a couple of these 660s, okay? Um, I have found them to be wonderful. The 660 kits that I've been putting in, I mean, truly make a, a large amount of difference between the stock uh, 92cc version. Um, sometimes we get gain out of the big boards. Sometimes you, it's worth the money. Sometimes it's not quite worth the money, okay? I have found with uh, the product that I'm ordering, and this time I'll try to remember to put it in the, in the uh, description. Uh, Man, not only does this uh, big board kit produce more power, but boy, I mean, you can tell when you go to start it because the compression has a lot of compression. So I'm quite impressed with it. I am, at least with the one uh, that I have done for myself. And I did another one for a local customer, uh, a farmer that uh, his 660 was, I mean, it was trashed. Uh, and so that's how I rejuvenated it. It was with one of these big board kits. And, and he's real happy. He didn't have the money to put it in to go OEM and all that kind of stuff. And so to him, it was worth, oh, by the time, <coughs> excuse me, by the time I charged him and the big board kid, I think he had about 125 bucks in it to fix his 660. It's a good price. So um, stuff I do is pretty general. Uh, uh, it's just general maintenance, getting people's saws back up and running for local and uh, farmers mostly. So, uh, I've had one tree service guy come stopping through, uh, but mostly it's local farmers. So, but this one's going to be for myself. Uh, it's going to be my milling saw. This is going to be the PM14 uh, powerhead, basically. And so I want it to be a big bore. And so we're going to do a full build on this. This is still stock, completely stock. I have done nothing with the muffler. I, I changed the log dogs. You know who? <laughs> this one uh, lent its log dogs to the G60, 466, uh, basically the MS460 clone. And uh, I'm really liking that saw. I mean, really, it's a lighter weight. And once it it gets a big bore, yes, I know guys, the big bore, you guys are gonna start uh, nicknaming me big bore major picks, but um, I like them. And then it gives me, okay, so all these big bores I've done, I keep all the parts. If I have a customer comes in that needs a new top end or something like that, I'll throw one of the good ones on it. If not, I have now top ends to go back on these machines if they fail in the future, okay? And so uh, it's also given me the ability to see what works and what doesn't work, okay? Uh, again, guys, if I like I said yesterday, I'm still learning, okay? Uh, I'm a... I've uh, proud of myself to where I've landed, and uh, and I'm gonna keep keep going. But uh, yeah, so uh, but I like the big board kits, especially on the 660s and the 372s. You know, man, they've proven themselves with a big board kit, and so I'm really hoping with that 460 that uh, I really like the big board kit for it. We're gonna be doing that project probably this weekend. Same type of thing. It's completely stock too, uh, except for some color customizing customizing it came as a blue thunder i did a few things to it this one i'm not going to do anything to uh it's pretty good looking saw and uh and it kind of has the same colors as my port my norwood uh porta mill uh if you guys can look back through some of my videos i also painted it i paint everything right and so uh but anyway so this is going to be my uh almost 100 cc uh powerhead so big bore so so this morning we're only going to have time uh to to prepare it for a little bit for the actual tear down and just while we do some shop talk uh i really you know a lot of guys talk about hating working on these saws i have found them to be not that hard i don't find it difficult uh, as far as uh i know so i got awfully used to working on the uh, uh, oh working on the uh, Husqvarna's because that's where a lot of where I started you know um, so we tend to uh, like what we get comfortable with 
you know, uh, one of the things as people that makes us grow is getting outside our norm. And so for me, I have found them to be excellent to work on so far. Uh, but I've only had, well, I've had it, I've had the whole top end stripped off the, the other 660 and, uh, that I own and a local farmer 660 and some carb work on a couple other, oh, uh, two, uh, 025 and MS250. Uh, and I don't know, lots of maintenance on some other machine, but, but so far I'm liking it. I really am. And, uh, uh. But we will see how this love affair continues with steel. Uh, to be honest with you, now I'm going to make some people mad when I say this, especially some buddies of mine. Uh, I might see me actually liking working on these more. Um, I'm really, you know, I, I love the 372. Who doesn't love a 288? There's just a sound that a 288 makes that is different than any other power saw, you know. Uh, I'm loving it. I really do. So when I say this, I want you guys to keep that in mind. But, um, I'm really enjoying working on these saws. I, uh, and I'm enjoying running the, a lot of the, the, the steels. I really am. Um, so th I, I believe there's room in my shop for all of them. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and so, and again, I, I like these, these, Pulse formas because they've given me the ability to not only obtain a, uh, a a power saw at a more reasonable price, but also take myself to what did I say yesterday? Oh, Chinese chainsaw school, <laughs> and so it has given me a vast uh, diversity of chainsaws to work on to educate myself on that I wouldn't have gotten as being able to obtain as fast, if not for the price of these saws. And so, uh, and as I progress in my journey, if and when, because they will, every saw fails. When they fail, I will let you guys know right away where I'm at with them and what, what's going on. So, uh, yes, sir. So we're just gonna get this ready for or tear down that's it this video is out gonna be much more longer much long much more longer my what the, my English teacher would be awfully disappointed in me huh guys no uh so this ain't gonna be a real long video today basically just a quick uh, piston looks really good of course it should it's brand new it's only had you guys have seen the videos I don't know it's probably had 20, 30 minutes on it. I wanted to see, and I have another 660 coming in. I believe Wednesday I'm going to do a video on it. Uh, it is a Farmac 660. It's going to be, a, it'll look just like the F380 uh, clone that I have. Uh, it'll be black and white. Kind of looks like the Holst Pharma Pro version. And uh, uh, I'm going to run it first because I'm, I'm wanting to see if it has a different, uh, you know, like the 372 uh, Farmac. Uh, that I got in the other day, it, it, I'm just gonna be honest, guys. It's the it's, it doesn't have bad power, but it doesn't has the it doesn't have the power that the Holst Pharma 372 does. It just doesn't. So uh, several of us are thinking that, and and uh, and I believe novice uh, mapped the cylinder. I probably should too. Uh, but it's just uh, and definitely Indiana Doug did. Uh, just has bad port numbers, and so. Uh, there you have it, and so, uh, so I want to try out that 660 top end of Farmax. You know, it could be the exact same cylinder. I don't know. Uh, it could be the exact same top end. I'm not real sure. So, uh, I will run it. I, I was gonna just pull it, put it right on the bench, and put the big bore in it, and you know, put its top end away for safekeeping. But uh, if I'm gonna need that top end one day, sometime. I want to know how it performed. Um, so I'm going to run this off first. So, yes, sir. Yeah. So just going to do a partial, huh? Uh, 
tear down on this. Ah, if I kick that compressor on, I'll wake up the family. It's probably around six o'clock here in the morning. Uh, but yeah, just gonna get this thing ready right here for uh, tear down is all and uh, getting some of its parts off. Um, that is no good. It's not a way to keep plastic in good shape. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So we're going to go ahead and end the, the uh, video there. I'm looking at the time and I've got to go to real work, guys. Um, uh, until April or May, I'm going to still be with the county. I'm going to retire in April or May. Early, way early retirement. So um, I'm only 47, but I'm going to get out of the county and uh, I'm gonna do some other stuff that my wife and I want to do. Uh, no reason to wait until you're uh, too old to do it, so to speak. So we have the opportunity to get out and that's what we're going to do. So, Hey guys, as always, uh, stay safe and I look forward to the big board kit build. I hope you guys tune in. Uh, I will do, uh, I will do the video this evening and upload it tomorrow morning for tomorrow's video. Uh, I was wanting to have it done this morning, but like I said, I just don't have the time today. So, uh, guys, appreciate all this, uh, the subscribers as always, guys, like I said, this would not be a channel without you guys. And so you guys are my main focus. Yes, sir. And as always, I hope if you guys need some help, let me know on your power sauce and uh, we'll get down through there with it. And so uh, feel free to email, email me, easy for me to say, email me at majorpicksauce at gmail.com and we will do what we can, guys. All right. Uh, as always, guys, stay safe.